Welcome back everybody. Today I want to show a little preview of something which Acidol has been working on and so it's not finished yet. I don't often do work in progress but this is definitely I mean I would consider it finished myself but you know <laughs> obviously there's more that can be done. So we're just gonna fly past my ship here. What's this thing called by the way? Uh, right now it's called the Armor God of Blood. It's a little excessive for the trading ship it is, but... Huh. It's crazy. What are the dimensions? Uh, I believe it's, um, it's uh, just over 700 long. It's uh, over 600 tall and um, 400 wide. Damn. What's the mass? Uh, it's actually... It's just under 2 million blocks. It's like a 1.9. Very spacious interior makes for a lightweight build. I'm just coming around the inside of it now. Uh, you can either enter in through the back there, or you can enter in through, uh, through the front. But the, uh, the front doesn't actually connect to the rest of the ship yet. I'm just taking a look around all the exterior. I'm going to have to go in a bit closer. I've just been going around at a distance because uh, there's a lot of in a lot of, a lot of stuff, you know, it blends in. There's, you, yeah, there's a lot of levels to it too. I can see that. Because there's certain parts you can get inside between the it's like an onion almost, right? Just the way the layers. So I'm going to go in a little bit closer. Uh, the way it was built, it was built with like, you know, uh, it, this is my first and only ship, so the, the first ship I ever made is actually in the very middle of the core, and uh, the core is right where it has, it's been the whole time, but um, it started from that, and I built out, like, uh, layering it like, like husk after husk, kind of like a cocoon, and uh, I would constantly do that until I got to something like this, uh, and you can see that my building technique kind of refined as I got, as it gets farther out. So the exterior is much more detailed than the interior, uh, and also some of the power systems are, you know, more efficient than they were. I'm coming under the inside skin here and taking a little look around. I wonder if I can get through. Can I get through? I'm a little bit too fat to get through that hole. Ah, I can get through this one. Interesting. What's this? So this is like an ice grass farm. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is something recent I put in. Huh. Oh, and look, I can go under here. Am I in space? <laughs> uh, yeah, probably. There's um, there's some parts of the, the ship that are open. I mean, there's uh, airlocks between the parts that are closed in for the hotel part, and then there's the uh, you know the colony hotel part, and then there's uh, the section to go outside of it. See, I'm just going to sort of focus on mostly these exterior areas at the moment because there's a lot of cool stuff to show off. How long do you reckon you've put into this currently? Uh, do you want hours or like a, a time of how long I've played? You know? uh, just a rough time of how much from start to finish to, to date, how um, long to date, you know, so well, you started six, in November six or six months? Yeah, it's been six months that I've been working on the ship. Uh, I took maybe a month break and I built on it every day other than that month, so. Uh, you know, an hour here, an hour there. Yeah. I built quite a lot. The uh, towers on the top of the bottom are actually, uh, they're going to be office complexes, but I mean, uh, I haven't put in their little uh, cubicles yet. So uh, those will be finished. I love the detailing. Uh, when the logic comes out, you know, finally, uh, I'm going to put some billboards and stuff on the sides of the big tower, because I mean, it's supposed to be like a commercial tower, right? I'm going to have billboards and advertisements on the side, 
make it look all animated and such. It'll bring some life to the ship. Hell yeah. I love these intakes as well. Yeah, those are for uh, little miniature fighters. There's actually models of miniature fighter inside if you want to take a look at that. Oh, nice. Do you know, this would make a great auction room for fighters. Actually, that's a great idea. I'm going to take that in mind. I know Damon said that uh, we could uh, work on putting this in the next uh, auction. But yeah, I'll definitely take that. Oh, well, if he said that as well, I think that's a resounding vote of confidence. <laughs> You'd only need to adapt maybe a door or something somewhere, you know? Like a bigger, just something yeah, to see. Yeah, a door on the top. Yeah, so as long as they could just float down to right here, I wouldn't even remove your fighter. I'd say keep it there because it's kind of symbolic. You get a big fighter in this space as well. Mm -hmm. That's really, really beautiful because then you could have a nice, you could build like an auctioneer's thing here, you know. Yeah, I could put a podium on one side. Yeah, well, like in the middle I would, and then over here people can just stand and vote. You know, bid. Oh, you know, it'd be even awesome. You know, can you uh, see where I am? Little... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, we could actually make like something like a Mobius chair, but have the auctioneer or the you know the auctioneer. Oh yeah, the auctioneer could just fly around on a Mobius exactly. desk yeah. chair thing. And the people could be standing on top of it. Amazing. Right, let's um, what's this? There's more stuff through there, through here. What's going on? Uh, uh, the entrances to that haven't actually been opened yet, but that's where to the. Uh, it was going to be a conference room, but it's it's kind of like a, a surrounding husk to the actual core room. Oh, uh, there's a nice hangar here actually. Hang ships could get in through the side. I didn't realize that was so big. It's definitely an amazing ship. There's so much detail here. I love it. Yeah. Well. Don't break your back over finishing it. I think that you should just use it anyway. Because look at it. It's beautiful. Yeah, definitely, man. Uh, I mean, I'm always going to be changing it as I play. I mean, there's always going to be things to refine. I mean, just now I built those red things on the side there. And those are going to be little uh, glass or anything platforms. The scaffolding's epic. And those pads are a lot like little planet plates, so that's really cool. Right, I'm going to come in through the back hangar. Nice. I've already come in. It was it was open. Nice. Whoa. There's a bigger hangar door at the bottom. Here, let me open all the doors. Dude, the interior is like a halo map. You could do laser tag in here. That's exactly what I was thinking, yeah. It is just like a massive halo map. Oh my god. Oh my. Why have we not played laser tag in here? Look at this. People be jumping all over the place. Right. Oh, snap. Uh, you can actually go in the, inter the very, very interior. I don't know if you're going to make your, your ship in there, but go into the hatch on the top. You saw I opened it up for you. I see trees of green. Ooh, I'm going down. You've got a mini blood gulch. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it is. What? Uh, 64 hotel rooms in total on the side. Hotel rooms? Yeah, those little glass balconies you see are actually rooms. Oh, wait, I could have come in through the front? Yeah, that too. There's so much. I'm going back in. Uh, go up this time. Go up, alright. Yeah, go inside and then go up. See that oval that's now opened up? Yeah, I see it. Okay. Turn around and there's, that's the interior to the old engine room. Huh. I like that. <coughs> Sorry, it's a ship that's so big. 
that they didn't actually take out the old engine. They just built a new one and just decommissioned it, you know, because <laughs> it's too big. You wouldn't, you wouldn't, you know what I mean? It's, 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 you know, if you made something that was like so big, you know, like a planet sized ship or something, you wouldn't be able, you know, you wouldn't practically take it apart, would you? Yeah, you couldn't like split the ship in half and then take that little bit out. Like no, you you'd just augment the ship. Let's see. Let's do oh, some creative God. wiggling. Yes, I wiggled it. I learned from Yalby. I learned from the best. Wait for it. Let me help you out with that one. Cambot powers. Our, our weak. Hang on. Oh, wait, I've got this. I've got this. <laughs> wait for it. Batter up. Wow. That's actually, uh, I used to have a pulsator in, in here, right? And that's exactly where the pulsator would meet, the cross would meet inside that crystal. I had to eventually decommission the pulsator right, because of, um... There we go. I guess it was energy reason. That's better. Ah. Uh. So, inside there, that was actually, uh, this used to be the exterior glass hole, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, because I had this, this viewing area, right? Uh, and back then there was, I don't remember if you knew that glitch with the sun that would go in through the glass. Like, wherever you looked, as long as you pointed towards the sun, it would show through the glass. Yeah. Well, I actually took advantage of this, or I took advantage of that glitch in this room, because there would always be a sun on the other side of the glass. Right. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I remember that one. So you're saying that this is actually the back end of your old ship? Well, the back of my old ship was the hangar back then. And that's that's very old. Uh, you you may need to get out of the cam box to get through that door this time. That's okay. I can't look at everything. Hang on. Mm. Your doors are too small. Great for laser tag, though, huh? Yeah. There we go, fixed it. Yep, there we go. So those little uh, green battery rooms, back when uh, I had first learned that you, know, you can like, fuse sticks to make generators more efficient. So those little uh, generator rooms to your sides in the green, right? Yeah. And the red are hangar bays, because I used to color code all my rooms. It just made everything so much easier to, you know, comprehend. So these actually used to be my old hangar. I mean, this is all I have. They're, they're practically torpedo bays. I mean, <laughs> so this is the old core room, aka the front of the very first ship. <laughs> Oh, yeah. The back box used to be my ship. It, it kind of looked like a Mayan head or something like that. And then this is the uh, the other side of that glass you were looking at earlier from the inside of the more of an auction. Room. Right. Huh. Can get right down here. And there's another hole. Ha ha! Well, I'm a real fan of this ship. It's great. I think we'll have to do some serious laser tag action on this vessel. Coming to you on a mushroom fleet near you. So, what's the name of the ship again? Uh, the Armark God of Blood. The Armark God of Blood. And I think it will be named aptly. <laughs> so there we go. A beautiful trade ship from Athadol. Uh, thanks for watching. And I'll be coming back to do a regular update on the interior and uh, detailing to this as it progresses. So thanks again. I'll see you all next time.